uh, in the west, out to Curtis Road in the east, uh, Platte to, uh, to Woodman Road. Um, and I, I am, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the youngest elected official in El Paso County, Colorado. And, and you know what? I'm kind of old, I think. I'm, I'm 40 years old. I just turned 40 years old, and I'm the youngest elected official in, in this county. And you know, I, quite honestly, I think there's something wrong with that. I think we need to do a better job of bringing our young people up and getting them ready for office because, you know what, you can be qualified to do this job at 27, 28, 29, 30 years old. And I'll tell you, the other side does a whole lot better at that than we do. We kind of stink at bringing the young people up. Um, I constantly hear, you know, those 18 to 25 year olds, they don't vote. But you know one thing they all do? They turn 26 someday, and then they go vote. And we need to be working to cultivate and grow those folks now so when they turn 26, they're going to be ready to get active and get involved in the party. And that's why I'm so, so, so excited to see a group like this come together, and I'm so excited to be a part of this group. So if, if any of you'd like to, to speak with me afterwards, I'd love to do that. I'm going to leave some cards here as well. So you can get a hold of me uh, via email or, or, or call my office or whatever. So thank you so much for coming out and thanks for getting involved and thanks for being a part of the Republican Party. Uh, and unless I'm missing somebody, I think our only other candidate, last potential candidate, is Ed Mark Barker. Would you like to stand up and? Hi, I'm Mark Barker and I'm running for, or will be running in House uh, District 17 planning on announcing here shortly and filing, but we haven't done so so far. So I'm doing like Peggy is, going around listening and asking people for what it is that they're frustrated with, what it is that they like to see, what it is that they want specifically for House District 17. And so if you have any input on that, I'd appreciate it. And um, you'll be hearing more. Thank you. Sorry? Well, I currently don't have a uh, website yet either, but uh, if you want to send it directly to me, it's mhbarker at usa.net. So that will change when I get something up and running. Thank you. Uh, and uh, in, in conclusion with our introduction there, our, our club is not going to be endorsing any candidates. Uh, for office and any Republican candidate who wants to come in. Heck, we probably even let Democrats come in if they ask us. We throw them, you know, throw them up. But, um, yeah, we have to make it. Um, zoning. <laughs> Were you the one who suggested that executive? Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah, We're having issues with trying. Um, but any, any candidate who wants to come in, we're going to give a forum to. Also, we, we're trying to encourage young people especially, get involved with some of these campaigns. You know, find candidates who you find interesting and volunteer. They're not all, you know, going to win every race that you work for, but you'll learn so much by getting out there, getting involved, and you'll really feel like you're making a difference. Especially, you know, the local races, there's some really important races coming up. Uh, the seat Peggy's running for is going to be an open seat, uh, and that's a seat that could flip. You know, there, there's a potential that could flip to a Democrat. We've got uh, the Merrifield talking. Talking about talking we, about. we might have a serious Democrat challenger there. But we're going to prevent that. We're, we're going to prevent gonna that. Let a Democrat get in the yeah. House. yeah, we're going to hold that seat. And House District 17, uh, along with House District 18, are the, have the distinction of being held by Democrats. So, um, you know, we we really need to get people out working those. Uh, work in those races. So, you know, choose a candidate who you want to work for, get to know them, and especially if you get an early on a campaign, you can really do some special things with a candidate. So, all right, um, I'd like to introduce our next candidate who's statewide. JJ Ament is running for state treasurer, um, and I believe that's what he tells us. So, I've asked JJ to come down, share a little bit about himself. Also, JJ, if you could sort of tell us what the state treasurer does, why it's important, it's held by a Democrat right now. Um, and why is it important that this is going to be a, uh, a change of, of party for the team next year? Sure. Thank you very much.